Hey guys, welcome back. About two weeks ago, I got back from a really fun but whirlwind trip to South Korea. Face Halo, the company that I'm a part owner in, is now stocked in Olive Young. So many makeup and beauty trends come out of South Korea, so I was so excited when I went there. I went really crazy at Olive Young, which is the makeup and beauty store that Face Halo is stocked in. I got so much stuff. I put it all in this big old bag I've got. So I'm gonna take you through what I bought um, and I was super surprised by how affordable it was. Uh, I think I spent about $600 at Olive Young, 600 Australian dollars and I got so much stuff. I also went to a department store and bought stuff from a department store. I'm not sure exactly how much I purchased there because it was different transactions at um, counters but I think I probably only spent a thousand dollars on this makeup and considering what you'd get in Australia you get like 10 things so this is insane it's literally almost full so there's a lot of stuff in here okay I'm just gonna grab and talk about it so this is called the magic peeling bong this one has a person's nose with some stuff being peeled off and what looks like a really large Q-tip, right? So I'm gonna Google this product and see exactly what it's meant to do. I figured out that this is like a big old Q-tip that you rub on your face and it's supposed to peel off your skin. So I really wanna try this on my nose because I had a really good uh, blackhead picking sesh and I squeezed them so hard that I like damaged my skin and now my skin is peeling there. So I'm totes gonna try that later tonight. Oh, I bought these cute eyelashes. These are the number 15 eyelashes. I have a feeling it's the in-house brand. Yeah, it is. It's the in-house brand of Olive Young that I purchased them from, but I just thought they were really cute everyday lashes. Oh, this is very important. This is a perfect V lifting mask. You just kind of hook it up under your chin and it lifts away under your chin. I'm so excited by all these K-Beauty things. So there's five sachets in the packet. What's this here? Oh, nail and cuticle oil. I usually use the one by Ciate, but um, I've run out of that now. So this is a really cute blossom one. I bought it because it's got little flowers in it. The Ciate one actually does as well, but I saw it there and I just wanted it. I bought, they have a lot of really cute stuff that looks like food. I bought this because it looks like a little milk carton. It's a tint water. It even looks like a little bottle when you look at it here. I feel like Korean beauty is really focused on nice sheer tints on everything, like glassy skin, a sheer tint over the lips, over the cheeks, over the eyes. So this is, I'm pretty sure it's for your lips and cheeks. It's so liquidy, like that is just water in there. Oh, how interesting. Can you see that? That's what it's like inside. It even has nutritional facts on the side and the nutrition content of your cuteness, your vitality, your happiness and fun. Oh my God, I love these foot peeling things. Have you ever tried the milky foot one? You can get it at Priceline. So this is a dirty foot peeling mask. What happens is exactly what you see on this. So you put this mask on. It actually has these two sachets at the top. In this one, you can cleanse your feet with this sachet, then put on the foot peeling mask. You leave it on for a little while and then you can put your moisturizer on. But then after a couple of days, your skin literally starts, your foot starts to shed. Like, like a snake sheds its skin. It's so revolting, but your feet are so smooth. And because I do so much dancing, like salsa dancing and stuff, I have mad calluses on my feet and it's the only way I can like keep them under control. So I think I actually bought more than one of those. They actually gave me a lot of samples. Like after I bought this, they just stuffed a bunch of masks and sample stuff in my shopping bag after I bought everything. So I can't really tell what I bought and what they gave me, but this is the Derma Lift face lifting band mask. One for your face and one to go up under your chin. So I guess it's just a lifting mask. I have no idea what this is, but there's a little picture on the back. I don't think I bought this. I think this is uh, something they gave me. I think it's an acne patch, but it looks like you just get one large size and you cut out the size you want and stick it on your pimples. I really like pimple patches. I find they work great. This is a nose cleanser. Not that my nose needs clean. Actually, you guys always say, cause when I take pictures, you can see up my nose a lot of the time and I have hairs in my nose, shock horror. But some people are like, you need to sort out your nose hairs. Sorry guys. So I actually did buy nose wax. Where is it? This must be it. 
Wait. So this is called the Shocking Nose Cleanser. I don't know why I thought it was nose wax, but it literally is to clean your nose. You just dip the Q-tip into the ointment and clean your nose. So you stick it up your nose. There's also one for ears, which I bought. I think they gave me these makeup puffs. They feel really soft. This is a face trainer for your smile. Like a silicone device that you stick in your mouth to help train your smile. Well, whatever, it'll, it'll be fun. I thought my smile wasn't even, but it looks normal to me. Why have they got such a young girl on the advertising material? She looks like six. It looks like a womb attached to fallopian tubes and ovaries. Um, but yeah, so how does this go in your mouth? Like, Huh? Oh. <laughs> wow, it's really stretching everything right out. Wow, I have to say, I doubt this product works, but I guess you never know. This is a face mask that just caught my eye because of the packaging in the store, but it's a peel off mask that you actually mix the ingredients yourself. So it comes with a few different um, ingredients and a spatula and you mix it and then apply it and it will peel off in one satisfying go. I'm gonna try that. It's just a hydrating and firming mask. These are gel socks, guys. You can actually already get these in Australia. I bought them at Mecca Maxima. And inside is a gel coating the whole inside. It's a solid gel, like it's not wet or anything. But, ooh, it also smells nice. Polymer gel socks, that's the kind of gel inside. But when you wear them and then you take your foot out a while later, your feet are really soft. I bought them a while ago, but just because I was putting my foot in them, even though my feet were clean after the shower because I'd wear them to bed, it just kind of felt a bit gross to keep wearing them. So I only wore them for like a week and then I threw them out, but I really liked the effect, so I bought some more. So into the food stuff that they have in Korea. This is a really cute body recipe, body cream that looks like an ice cream cone, but annoyingly, you won't be able to stand it up. It'll have to lie sideways. This is a face cushion makeup, SPF 45. It caught my eye because it's got an angry monster face on it. Look how cute that is. It's the Clio Kill Cover Conceal Cushion. So this one is supposedly gonna give me the coverage of concealer in a foundation compact. Now, honestly, in South Korea, they have a super limited shade range. Let's squeeze this. That's the color. It is definitely thicker than I expected. Ooh, peel porn. <laughs> But how cool is that packaging? It reminds me of Fendi. Okay, they have this brand called Luna, and this is a palette. Their eyeshadows looked so nice. So this is a palette with five different eyeshadow shades of different finishes. This is, <laughs> how do I explain this? Oh, beauty powder. So it's kind of like what I think it's like. You know those enzyme cleansing powders? Dermalogica has one, Tatcha has one, a bunch of skincare brands have one. It's just. A powder and you wet it and then rub it over your skin and it cleanses and exfoliates gently. These ones are in individual little tiny cartons. And they actually also gave me some samples of this so I have tried it and I did really like it. I used it after my cleanser and I just like rubbed it into my pores in my t-zone area and I felt like it made my skin really nice and smooth so I am enjoying these. I haven't opened this packet yet. They gave me like five samples so I've been using those. They're really good. The brand is Kanebo, K-A-N-E-B-O. And this is another makeup product by Deja Vu. It's a black eyeliner pen. Simple. It's a felt one. Oh, this is the black paint rubber. It's a cleansing stick, so the cleanser is solid and it's a black cleanser. It's meant to help with pores, blackheads, that kind of thing. I accidentally either bought two, which I don't think I did. I think I bought one and then I think they gave me one as an extra because I had bought so much stuff. I think they were like, what? And I think they gave me, like I said, they gave me heaps of extra stuff. I have an extra one. So let's do a little giveaway here. If anyone wants to try this, just make sure you're leaving a comment below and make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on. 
leave a comment within the first 12 hours and like the video and I will send this to someone. Like I said, I've already been using it. It's really easy to use. You just wet your face, rub it over your skin and then rinse it off. The Lip Shield by Eureka. So I bought a number of their shield products. This is a lip shield. You put it on after you've put on your lip product and it will help it stay for longer. Apply your lip color, shake this well before use, apply a proper amount on top of the lip color, let it dry for 10 seconds, and then it will stay for longer and look better. It makes it waterproof, transfer proof, all of that good stuff. This is an eye locking pen liner. It's another felt tip pen. Ooh, really nice fine line. Ooh, no bleeding. I always find when I swatch eyeliners on the back of my hand, it immediately starts to bleed into, you know, the cracks of my pores and that kind of thing on the back of my hand. But this one has remained out of my pores. Oh no, it bled into one pore. Wow, it's already matte and not transferring. I bet I can't even get it off as well. <laughs> Must be super waterproof because it's already set. You wouldn't want to make a mistake with that. This is The Pony by Meme Box Eyeshadows. I bought this because Pony is like the most famous South Korean makeup blogger. She's very popular just full stop on YouTube, not even out of just South Koreans. She's so popular. Oh, the peel porn from this place. Yes. Yeah, she came out with a makeup line. It's called Pony. I really liked the look of this eyeshadow palette. It has some pretty pinks in there. I bought this little lip and cheek gel, a very vibrant color. I saw so many red colored things like for cheek and for lips and for your, even your eyes. So I think it's a color that they really like. I feel like it's actually quite natural. Like when your cheeks are flushed, when your lips are flushed, they get red and it's really pretty and pouty. Let's open it. This is it. Really cute for your lips and cheeks. It has SPF in it and it's just a really nice bright color. Thought I'd buy that and check it out. Mascara by Deja Vu. The packaging is so annoying. It's one of those really big packets. Wait, can I just peel this open? Maybe I can. Oh, actually that was easy, but it's just so big. I wanted to buy like one of every kind of makeup so I can eventually, hopefully like tomorrow or the next day, film a full face of Korean makeup. That's why I wanted to buy mascara. Even though I have a million mascaras, I wanted to make sure I bought a South Korean mascara. I bought press on nails. I love the color. Yeah, you just stick them on. Jackie Ina told me that she really loves press on nails and that's like all she wears. So that's why I bought them. Now they have this in Sephora in Canada. I think they have it in America. They probably have it here, but I bought one over there anyway. It's the Shake and Shot by Dr. Jart face mask. So you just uh, pour the ingredient sachets inside, you shake it up and then swipe it over your face and it's another peel off mask. So I'll totally have to try that soon, but the packaging is just so insane. It's ingenious, like who wouldn't buy this? It's crazy cool. Oh, did I really buy? Yeah, I did buy this there. No, no, I ordered this. I ordered this on Revolve. What's this doing in here? Oh, well, I'll show you anyway. It's a blackhead brush. I'm obsessed with my blackheads. And I've since found out that I don't even actually have blackheads. Um, it's sebaceous filaments. So they're just like clogged pores. There's little black stuff in there. They're so tiny though. They're not like proper blackheads, but if I squeeze them, they come out. So I'm hoping this, it's literally just a brush, but the, oh, there's powder coming out. I don't know if you can see that. Should I leave it in there? Anyway really fine synthetic bristles that when I use it with my cleanser, I think it can like get right into the pores because they're such fine bristles. It can actually get into the pores and scoop out my blackheads. That's what I envisioned when I bought this. So I'm super keen for it. <sighs> paraffin hand masks as well. It's like a glove. You stick your hand in this paraffin and all the goodness inside, leave them for a bit and your hand should be nice and soft. Honestly, the number of masks they had there was crazy bought more eyelashes this time in the number 15 this was one of the samples they gave me it's a follagen or folligan shampoo with biotin and some other oh it's for hair loss prevention okay I bought another one of those tints 
in the little milk looking carton or the juice carton. This is an orange color. I could not figure out what these were. I do remember reading once that apparently your body expels toxins through the bottom of your feet. So when I saw this in store, I wanted to try it. You're supposed to put them on the bottom of your feet and it's gonna help draw out the toxins and the dirt from your body. And that's what it's saying here. So the patch is white and then after you wear it, it should go black. But the skeptic in me is telling me that there's some kind of chemical reaction that occurs when you take the sachets out of the packet and put them on your foot. After a certain amount of time, it's just gonna change color. Oh, look, I bought two packets of those. Oh, these are fun. Anti-wrinkle spot masks, but they're in cute shape. So one's for your lips and one's for the smile lines, but it looks like a little mustache, which I thought was really cute. Oh, this is by Not For You. Oh. It's a liquid gel in like a little tube. You squeeze it onto your pimple. Hold on, here's a thing. So you squeeze it onto a pimple, or maybe you've got some sensitive skin, and you squeeze it on, wipe it over so it's nice and smooth and a nice thin layer, and then it will protect the area from pollution. And it's also got green tea extract in it, so it must be good for pimples. Oh my this is the Hair Shield Hair Styling Fixer. So from the same line as the Lip Shield I mentioned before, this one's for your hair, so what? I was like, I'm gonna buy it because I've never heard of it before. The sales assistant told me it was like the newest thing. I was like, isn't that just hairspray? It's been around for ages. But she assured me it's different. Let's try it now and see what happens. Oh. Mm, just feels like hairspray. Kind of a bit crusty actually. Smells like old school hair. Ooh, it looks effective though. Cool. It's just non-aerosol hairspray, I think, but. Oh look. And this is a sample I was telling you about. I've got another one as well. Another shield product. This one's the eye shield. So I actually think you put this on for or after. I actually have to check how this goes because I just opened it and it's literally like something you paint on. So do you put this on over the top of your eyeshadow? I just have to find out. So this is an all over eye shield. You can put it over the top of your eyeliner once your eyeliner's dried. And I think it's trying to tell me I can put it on my eyeshadow. I feel like because it's liquid, it would totally spread it around. And you can also put it on your eyebrows and it will keep your eyebrows and your eyebrow product in place for ages. That's what it's promising anyway. Okay, I've also got these. I think these were samples of a hair serum and a hair styling product. Next, this is a little eyebrow pencil by Kate. It's really tiny. I was like, wait, is this a refill cartridge or is it actually like this? But I think it's actually like this. Ooh, really nice, fine eyebrow pencil. It's teensy, how much do you get in there? That's all. Not much, but there's probably the same amount as in other makeup brands. We're just being fooled by the makeup brands because they've got longer pencils. Next, I bought this brown mascara. Again, cool packaging. This one's by the brand Ink. And it's just a curling brown mascara. I never wear brown mascara, but looked cute. They had black as well, but I bought the brown one. This is in Black Espresso. What's this? Line maker. I think this is a lip liner. Oh wow, it's got some hectic tape over it. Oh, that was hard to open. This one was taped shut. This is a line maker, I think. I think it's a lip liner. Well, it's pink. That's the color. It's a really pretty salmon color. That makes me think it's for your lips, but I do notice that Koreans really like to use these kinds of colors on their eyes as well. So it could also be an eyeliner. It does also have this little smudger up the top, which makes me think that maybe it actually is for your eyes. Another blackhead product. Yes, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I don't even have blackheads, according to everyone on my YouTube videos when I've done like blackhead <laughs> removal videos before. But I have so many of those sebaceous filaments that I'm just trying to get rid of them. And this product is the All Kill Black Peeling Pad. It's by the brand Reray. Basically, it's a little handheld pad that you just slip over a couple of fingers, rub all over your face with the little black pad, 
then you flip it over and there's an exfoliating side and you can use that on the areas that need more attention like your forehead, nose, etc. All right, we're coming to the end, kind of. Next is the My Lip Tint Pack in Pure Pink. So it's a lip tint in a pretty Barbie pink color, I think, judging by the packet. Ew, this one's been opened. Get fucked. Ooh, look at the applicator on that. That's the color there. Wow, it's a really like bright neon pink. Cool beans. That really stained my hand. Another cushion product, I think. No, this product is a Dr. Jart powder. So it's just a powder compact. This one mattifies, but it's very light and transparent to wear throughout the day. Let's try it, considering my forehead is really oily right now. It's like a light pink color, but it's meant to be transparent, which it is. Ooh. That worked. Look how matte I am. Wowza. So it's also meant to be calming on redness, and it's also meant to brighten you. And I definitely think it did all of that. So I'm pleased so far. There's not that much more to go. I bought a couple of things from a department store, which I'm going to show after this. But these are the last few things that I bought from Olive Young. This is cute. It's called the I'm Multi Cube Apple Red. So it's this quite chunky little palette that when you first open it has four eyeshadow shades. And then after that, you've got the blush. So you can kind of do your eyes and your cheeks with this. It's called All About Apple Red. Like I said, Koreans seem to really like to use orangey red tones. So I picked that one. So I'd be getting a really cool South Korean makeup look. This is the Booby Booby Lip or Bubby Bubby Lip. <laughs> Wait, do look at that. It's a little pump lip product. What is it? Oh, it's cream. Am I putting it on right? What is it? What? Oh my God, it's foaming up. Oh. Oh, what is that? <laughs> is that an exfoliant? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. It literally says on the side in English. Booby Booby or Bubby Bubby Lip is a bubble type lip scrub. It gives a solution to remove lip, makeup, dirt, impurities, and dead skin without irritating the skin. It literally foamed up and then it started to gloop together as I was massaging it over my lips. Mm. Yeah, I guess my lips feel softer. They don't feel moisturized right now, but I don't have any like clingy bits of dry skin. So that is so cool and unique. Wow. At the moment, it's pretty cool because the only thing on the market right now are those sugar scrubs or lip scrubs. Ooh. This is the Banana Milk Blur. That's what it looks like out of the packet, but it comes in this cute little, looks like a milk carton once again. So this is a natural cover makeup that blurs your skin. I imagine it's gonna be clear. So it's like a cream, it's not clear. Oh, it's a very thin cream. Oh, it's brightening. It smells like banana. That's it there. Wow, the back of my hand looks 20 years younger. I don't know if you can see that, but it really blurred the skin on the back of my hand. So I assume you can use that as a primer or you can wear it on its own. Tattoo Lip Tint by 3CE in the shade Candy Jelly. Now this one is taped shut again. We already have this brand at Mecca, but I don't think we have this precise product. Whoa. So this is a lip tattoo tint. Look at that color. That color is not playing around. Next, this is the Sugar Glow Tint. This is a glossy lip tint like sweet sugar syrup, which delivers an attractive shine finish. Now, the blogger To Dawn actually told me to buy this. I think it was this one she told me to get. So this is another one of those sheer tints. Really nice coral color. So you can use it for your cheeks or for your lips. Another little eyeshadow quad. The packaging on this is, it feels a bit cheap. I think this was, uh, you know, a cheap product, but it looked cute. If I open it, 
You've got three neutral eyeshadow shades, and then this product up here is, hmm, okay. It is like a creamy consistency. I think it's actually a highlighter, probably for your brow bone or for your cheeks. It's cream to powder. So you apply it and it begins to actually feel like a powder. That's it there. Very sheeny. The brand is called Majolica Majorca. <laughs> okay, so now moving on to what I bought in the department store. The department store was called, oh, it was named after a car. It sounded like a car. Hyundai, right? Okay, anyways, so I think I bought this at a store called Hyundai. So I bought this little box and inside are two macaroon looking things. This pink one, and then this is actually a sponge. This is a blush. So here we go, there's a cream blush in this really pretty pink color and then this is the sponge that you blend it out with. I just love all of this novelty food shaped stuff, like I love it. I bought three other things from the Lancome counter from the same range. I bought this light cream duo cushion. So this is a cushion compact with a blush and highlighter inside. Let me, let me... Oh. So inside we've got the cushion with the highlighter and the blush in one. That's a swatch. Can you see? So that's the highlighter. Shimmery, which is the first time I've ever seen a cushion have a highlighter with shimmer in it. Yep. And then this is an eyeshadow palette. Oh, and the colors were just so cute and out of this world. The whole line was all themed really cute. Sugary dessert, sweeties or sweets. I hate the word sweeties. I don't know why I just said that. Super buttery. There's some really nice duo chromes in there. Really pretty macaron sweet shades. And that's called the Eye Sugar Palette. Okay, lastly from Lancome, I got this Jelly Flower Lip Tint. But look, the tube is squeezable and the flowers are suspended inside. That's the applicator. So this is a glossy tint in a subtle rosy pink. So in the department store, they had this really bougie looking brand called The History of Faux. It comes in this bougie box with like velvet lining, lipstick, and then that's a little lip brush. It's extremely heavy. It's like so gilded and royal. It's a nude color. And then that's the little lip brush. And then I got these two lipsticks, one in this vibrant orange red. And then I got this one, which is a more true red color. That is literally everything that I got in South Korea. I got so much stuff. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna do a full face of South Korean makeup. I'm so keen. Okay, I'm gonna try film that very soon. But for now, I've gotta go because I'm meeting a friend for dinner very soon. I just really wanted to finally go through everything I purchased in Korea. I actually haven't gone through that since I bought it. So it was really fun to go through this with you guys. Don't forget, leave a comment and I'll send one of you this product. All right guys, thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.